How's it going out there? Welcome from H2 Tech Video. Today I want to show you how to download and install uh, this free antivirus, the best free antivirus that is on the market right now. Uh, never have to pay for it. It actually is from Microsoft and it's called Microsoft Security Essentials. Um, so actually uh, I'm on the website right now and I have this link at the in the notes of the video. So um, if you go to the bottom click on that link, it'll take you right to this website right here. What you're going to do is where it says select your version, click the drop down menu. Now depending on the computer you have, um, you're going to pick 64 or 32 bit. Uh, and the way you can tell the difference is how much RAM your computer has. So my computer has 6 gigs of RAM. Anything over 4 is going to be considered a 64 bit computer. So click on 64 bit. If yours is 3 gigs or lower, then you would actually go with um, this guy right here, the 32 bit. And let me show you how to check if which amount of RAM your computer has. Okay, there we go. Okay, so what you're gonna do if you need to, to if you don't know how much RAM your computer has, go to the start button, which is right here. Click on it. Go to the computer, and you want to right click, and you want to go down to where it says properties. Okay, and here it should show you. Um, go. To under system and go to install memory RAM and right here it says 6 gigs of RAM if yours says 3 or 3.5 anything under 4 your computer is considered a 32 bit computer and it actually tells you right here system type 64 bit okay so that's how you check to see um, how much RAM your computer has this is obviously for a Windows 7 computer if you have Vista it should be the same if you have uh, XP it will be a little bit different okay go ahead and click on download now or excuse me, just download. And what it's going to do is it's going to download to the computer. Uh, I'm running Chrome here. Uh, I'm not using Internet Explorer. So um, the way you're going to find the download when it's finished, well, let's go ahead and let it download first, and then I'll show you what it'll do here. Um, in fact, here's what I'm going to do because I know most people don't use Chrome. I'm going to actually open this same thing in Internet Explorer just to make sure everything is seamless and easy for you to do this so I'm opening up Internet Explorer I'm gonna paste the website alright so we'll give it a second go to download okay and now at the bottom here you see it's gonna ask you if you want to run or save it go ahead and click on run it's going to download at the bottom and it will show you how long it takes to download. And once it finishes, then it's going to ask us some questions. So, um, just to make it a little bit easier, again, most people use Internet Explorer, not Chrome. So, I want to make sure this video is 100% user friendly for you guys. Okay. All right. So, it's running a security scan, blah, blah, blah. I'm going to click on yes and now it's going to start asking you some questions this is the installation process click next I accept and then I usually uh, click on join the uh, customer experience improvement team so what it'll do is it'll use the data from your computer just for viruses to help for them to keep the software updated so it's up to you if you're a, a, a privacy phobe or phobia you can not join the program you don't have to but uh, actually I'm gonna not join it just cuz whatever click next here uh, make sure this box is checked hit next and now it's gonna prepare to install now click install so now it's installing um, the program here and depending on how fast the computer that, that could take up to three minutes but obviously this computer is pretty fast so it just shoots right through it and make sure this box is checked now it's going to actually scan for any viruses and it's going to check for any updates as well let's click on finish and now it's going to say at risk because it hasn't scanned the computer yet so let it run through its scan first and then you should see green at the top right here a green bar now while that's doing that uh, here's what we're also going to do. This is a, another little tweak that I do when you have this program installed. Come down to the bottom where this little arrow is, and it's going to ask you if you want to show hidden icons. Click on it, and then you're going to have this little blue house right here. Um, 
that's that's affiliated with this program the Microsoft security essentials what I want you to do is click on customize and you want to scroll down till you get to the little house right here Microsoft security essentials client and you want to click this and you want to go to show icon notifications so we can always see it in the corner there's a reason why I'm going to display in a second go ahead and click on OK and now we can see the little house uh, in the corner right here the reason for that is the way this program works is when the house is green it means that everything is fine the computer is up to date it's scanned if this little house turns orange it just means you need to do a quick scan of the computer because you haven't done one in a while okay so it doesn't mean you're at risk it just means that it hasn't scanned in a while and you want to uh, have it checked just to make sure everything is fine if the house is red it means the computer has detected some type of virus and you want to immediately take care of it now all you're gonna have to do is when you click on the house it will ask you if you want to open you click open it'll take you here and then it'll simply say like remove virus or take care of it you will click on the box and you're done so it's a really simple antivirus it's free I've been using it literally for three years I've never had any problems with any virus or anything so um you know, you'll never have to pay any extra money for an antivirus because this is literally the best one out there and it's free got a little free now you know the other ones do stuff Norton does their stuff this and that but um this is basic and the main thing it does is it's going to protect you um you know from getting any viruses or having your computer shut down so anyway uh right now it's updating and I, you can tell because right here it says uh it's updating so it's going to update first um and once it updates then um there's going to be a little box that pops up that asks you if you want to scan so we're going to wait a couple more seconds for it to say scan and once that's finished we'll be done and your uh new antivirus is all installed okay let's give it a couple more seconds here while our mr green bar gets across to the other side All right, let's see if you notice the top now it says PC is protected. So all the downloads are there and it actually it automatically jumps right to scan your computer to look for any viruses. So you're done. At this point, you're just going to let it do its scan and you're finished. So what I recommend right now is to just minimize the box. Click this little uh button right here and you're finished and that is the best free antivirus on the market is from Microsoft the ones who actually make the operating system for the computer so uh, pretty amazing um, if you found this helpful go ahead and like the video subscribe to H2 Tech videos and keep watching alright have a good one